Hey, welcome to the Sunday preview. We're celebrating the first Sunday in Lent. We just got through Ash Wednesday and there were hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people coming for ashes. What a great sign to start off this holy season of Lent. So we're gonna read the Gospel of Luke for this Sunday. And it says, filled with the Holy Spirit, Jesus returned from the Jordan and was led by the Spirit into the desert for 40 days to be tempted by the devil. He ate nothing during those days, and when they were over, he was hungry. The devil said to him, If you are the Son of God, command this stone to become bread. Jesus answered, It is written, One does not live on bread alone. Then he took him up and showed him all the kingdoms of the world in a single instant. The devil said to him, I shall give to you all this power and glory. It has been handed over to me, and I may give it to whomever I wish. All this will be yours if you worship me. Jesus said to him, reply, It is written, You shall worship the Lord your God, and him alone shall you serve. Then he led him to Jerusalem and made him stand on the parapet of the temple and said, If you are the Son of God, throw yourself down from here, for it is written, He will command his angels concerning you to guard you, and with their hands they will support you, lest you dash your foot against the stone. And Jesus said to him in reply, it also says, you shall not put the Lord your God to the test. And when the devil had finished every temptation, he departed from him for a time. The Gospel of the Lord. So the Gospel opens with this strange scene that's got Jesus out in the desert doing battle against the devil for 40 days. It, but it starts off by saying he's filled with the Holy Spirit. And it's important to keep in mind and where Jesus just came from. He just came from his baptism in the Jordan by John the Baptist. And if you remember that scene, he it says the heavens were opened and the Spirit descended like a dove. And then the voice of the Heavenly Father said, this is my beloved Son in whom I am well pleased. And then it was that the Spirit drove Jesus out into the desert. This was the beginning of Jesus's public ministry. This was um, his manifestation to the world in the baptism. And then Jesus does this strange thing of going off into the wilderness to pray. And what he's doing is preparing himself for his mission. And he has to go spend that time in a way solidifying and making stronger his sense of identity as the son of God, the beloved son. I mean, he was the son of God from all eternity, the second person of the blessed Trinity, but now here in his human nature, right, this idea of sonship you know, in obedience to his loving heavenly father becomes critical. And so he goes out into the desert to pray to be alone in the wilderness, to listen to the Holy Spirit. And he allows the Holy Spirit to speak to him about his mission ahead. Well, this is so important, not just for Jesus' sake, although it was, but also it's kind of the pattern for us as well. Because in our baptism, God the Father said, this is my beloved son or daughter in whom I am well pleased. And we need that time in the wilderness we need it all the time to solidify our sense of being children of God, to really identify with who our Father is. And that's what this Lenten season is all about. It's an invitation for us to really deepen who we are before God. And we've got to do it the way Jesus did it, through prayer and fasting, almsgiving, through penance. And that's why we're called during the Lenten season to imitate those very things Jesus did in the desert. We all need some alone time to pray. You know, with our lives so filled with noise and distractions and the internet and TV and work and family, we need some time to withdraw into the desert of our soul. And are we making that time? We need that time to really reflect on who we are before God. For Jesus, it was critical because after that, he would spend those three years preaching and teaching and healing. 
and then he would ultimately give up his life. If we're going to have a mission, if we're going to do the works of God, we need this time also during Lent to withdraw into the silence of our heart and be alone with God so he can speak those words to us. This is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased.